What's up guys? So this video right here is sponsored by DistroKid. Um, so real quick, I'm just gonna talk briefly about DistroKid. DistroKid is a distribution service that allows you to independently publish your music to all major streaming platforms. It'll put it on Apple Music, on Spotify, on YouTube Music, um, and all the others, Tidal, whatever else there is, it'll put it on there. Guys, this is important because you as an independent artist, you need to start putting your music out there. You need to start building your fan base. You can't be waiting for a label to put you on. Start doing this. It's only 20 bucks a month, 20 bucks a year to get started on DistroKid for unlimited uploads. You keep all your royalties. I mean, it's a no-brainer, guys. Start building your audience now. And because I made you watch this promotion, I can give you all a discount. Use, my, use our code right here, we're gonna post in the description below, you'll get 7% off, so, you know, 7% off 20 bucks, that's an even better deal already. Go use DistroKid so people can start listening to who you are. Cool guys, what's up? So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use reverb and compression to create depth in your mix. Uh, this is specifically for those elements that you want to, when they come, you want them to like shine and be fully present in the mix and to have a lot of space. So I'm about to show you guys how to do that. So uh, one of the so some of the elements that you want to do this with a lot is with stabs, right? Uh, elements that come into the mix, you want them to sound epic, you want them to sound big. For example, here here's a quick loop. Cool. So we have this uh, these tribal stabs right here that I really like. So let's zoom in there. No, that's a really cool one. We also got this one. So that that's a pretty dry sounding stab right there. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can give it more depth. So if we just add a reverb, you know, we're actually gonna. You know, it's going to sound bigger, but we're also going to wash it out. And... I mean, the reverb does help. It's, uh, it's got definitely more space. However, if we put the reverb in parallel, right, and we create a chain, then we can control this reverb a little better than instead of you just using this dry wet. So now we have a dry chain and we have a wet chain of the reverb. So how does this sound? So that's pretty cool. Um, what if, let's see, increase a little bit. Thicker. That reverb is just really overpowering though. You can absolutely tell. So one of the things we can do, we can tame this reverb with a compressor and uh, We'll put a fast attack and really fast release time, you know, maybe like around four ratio. And now uh, we're just gonna squash that reverb. Now, if you hear the stab dry. You can absolutely tell, and the reverb isn't overpowering anymore. The reverb is just, the reverb is almost coming behind of the sound, and the sound, the dry signal is in the front. So you're creating this depth. You know what I'm saying? So take it off. But that reverb isn't overpowering anymore. Take off the compressor. You know what I'm saying? Take off the chain. Take the reverb out of the chain. Let's see. You know, there's a difference between this, which isn't bad, but you get so much more control whenever you put it inside of a rack.
So much more depth, but so much more controlled. So that is one technique that you guys can use to create more depth in your mixes. 